please welcome our next team, Life Books. <laughs> We are Live Books from Ecuador, and today we have a really interesting project which is called uh, Magic Books for a Better World. Well, in order to understand our product, we we'll first have to meet Katie. Katie is a girl that loves playing with her iPad. Also, she knows how to use it perfectly. But what happens if we gave her something different? For example, a book or the magazine you see. She tries to touch it, but it doesn't seem to work. And that's because, thanks to technology, she's not interested anymore in books and reading. But she's not the only one in the world. Well, indeed. <laughs> just uh, wait, it's going. Okay. Just in Ecuador, we have 4.5 million people that are, do not read at all. And if we talk globally, there's almost a billion of uh, young young teenagers that do not read until they they are 22, uh, which is a really high uh, with a really high numbers. Uh, in Ecuador, uh, we're talking about English. Ecuador is like in the 30, 35th place. Uh, in, so it's kind of we don't speak English at all, and that's important because um, people who speak English usually earn a 70% more as people who do not speak English at all, which is a really big number. Uh, so what could be the solution for that lack of skills? Well, we have we have thought about it, and we think we can merge the books that uh, something real that we have with something like a tablet, something that they like and they love. Uh, we, we join reality with something virtual, and what we get is our magical books. Live books aims to help children learn basic skills through interactive virtual exercises we have designed within these physical books. Now I'm going to show you how it works. First, first you must open the app, and then focus it on the book. You can watch it. Uh, oh, wait, wait, sorry, my fault. My fault. It's over there. So look, the magic appears. It's really simple that even a kid knows how to use it. Let's take a look. Oh, let's see. Like, okay. Also, this book has some other interesting features Adrian is going to talk about now. Well, we've taken every little aspect seriously, uh, from the fonts that are from Thomas Fitzpatrick, which is a, a psychological designer. Uh, those fonts are meant to help children to understand uh, the reading faster and easier. And easier, sorry. Uh, we have also taken care of the environment. Our first, our first prototype, as you can see, is made of recycled tetra pack. Uh, then we we went through and our second version and so on. I recycled, uh, I, I made up a recycled sugar cane chap, uh, which we, we, as a as a really big uh, sugar cane producer, we have a lot of that material that usually is being burned. Um, and finally, also this book has been written by Juana Neira, as you see there. She is the president of the Children's Book Association in Ecuador. Uh, well, this, all this progress, as you've seen, has not come all from once. We have started investing $600 from, from our pockets, and we still sell in small quantities until we reach that final product. Uh, so we hope of this product, we hope to earn $200. Uh, okay. um, well, uh, we have so many special assets that we are pretty sure that we are one of a kind. Uh, our books, uh, we have tested them, and we have, uh, we have uh, corroborated that our children's retain up to 54% more information with our books than with normal books. Uh, we also have a higher levels of acceptance compared to e-books on their own or any, any digital media. And so our parents love us, that's why four or five parents would rather buy our book instead of any other entertainment called a digital, oh, sorry, digital product. Uh, but what's important from us is not just our book, it's also our team. Um, our team is really special because we have people from different different areas. I am in charge of public relations and marketing, Adrian has developed all the technology, we have Eduardo that has managed the legal affairs, and Mirka who has designed the book and also helped us coordinating sales. Okay, but we are not complete. We also need a financial manager in charge of the money, we need some authors, illustrators, and 3D designers to produce a bigger collection, and also a salesman who will be in charge of, of, of course, sales. Uh, since the third year, we're also going to need the human resources, a country dedicated seller, uh, creative, ma creative managers, and also a dedicated distribution in order to kind of spread the voice. Um, talking about spreading the voice, we have done a really great work at communication. Women recognize that a really good idea couldn't work without communication. That's why we have taken really serious the public relations job. There are many mass media interested in our idea, and we have been in the most important TV channels, radio, newspapers, magazines, and websites. 
That's why we connect with our public. Also, we have our official web page and also our website. Uh, but well, now that people know us, they might want to buy our books. Uh, we are thinking on four main distribution channels. We are selling our books uh, through our online page. We're also going to talk with, with the main book bookstores in Ecuador. Uh, they're also kind of an arrangement with the uh, uh, educational ministry, which could help us uh, distributing our books in uh, public schools. And also we have a lot of retail stores like Amazon. Uh, if you're wondering how big Ecuadorian market size is, well, in, just in Ecuador we have 4 million families uh, uh, with children in, in between that range, uh, which 30% are willing to pay or can afford our product. And we're going to be just realistic, we cannot reach uh, just 0.8% of the total market share on the first, on the first year. But still, at, there are 32k customers, so it's kind of a big, a big market. Um, book sellings, the, the, book will, with the book price is $25 each. Um, if we print 100 units, we're going to have those expenses. So if we take it off, we have a kind of an $828 for, uh, for book as a profit. Uh, we, uh, if we multiply by a month, uh, we'll get 10k monthly, which roughly means uh, $120, $900 for the first year, only in Ecuadorian sales. Uh, now that you know what we can do on the first year, uh, we're going to talk what it's going to do later. Here's how we're going to work. The first year, we're going to focus in Ecuador, then we are moving to Argentina and Peru. After that, we are valid our business model in South America. Once we have done that, we are moving to North America, and then we must move to Europe, focus on Spain, on 2027. Okay, but what if we never leave the country? Uh, well, that's an, yeah, that's an interesting question. Uh, we can also produce a bigger book collection in order to have more clients, uh, which could include mathematical history, another topic that we have not included yet. We also can improve our technology. Right now we are developing every book every two months. We hope to uh, produce a book every three, every three weeks. And we also want to be the leaders in augmented reality, uh, placing our, our, making some kind of a brand placement in our product. Um, for, or for a dream came true, we need $29,000, uh, uh, which, be, which be, of course, going to be spent on, like, on, developed, on developer uh, licenses, also some uh, human resources, uh, of course, advertising, and uh, obviously we need to print the book, so a, a big part of that will go there. Um, if, we will, if we talk about more finances, uh, we can uh, reach our break-even point at 5K books. Uh, which uh, and our investment can be reached at 3,053 uh, 3, books, which can be reached at the first quarter of sales uh, and marketing. And after that, everything will run by itself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? We invite you to share with your children this revolutionary way of learning. Let the magic start. We are live from Lagos from Ecuador. Again. Thank you for your time. We're gonna lend the books while you can do it all, can check while we can go to the QA. Just one? You can have my phone if you want to. So oh. what actually happens when the, the iPad is... Yeah, of course. Uh, it works uh, just like a QR code, but instead of having that intrusive uh, QR code uh, where you have, a, you have to put a big lines and something in there, you just check for sharp lines, change of coral, colors, what we call inflection points. Then you create a map of, of the image, and then you display it by rotating... Uh, sorry, just on the, on the left page it works. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can you can do a map of of, the, of those uh, images, and then you can display the the product in, instead of using a basic mathematical algebra. I think I understand. Uh, um, you had a couple of couple of statements in there which stuck out to me. You said that this is increases learning by fifty four percent. Where did you come up with such a number? I'm sorry. You had one of your slides where you said this is increase in learning by 54%. Where did you oh. come up with such a number? Yeah, actually we checked with a lot of uh, kids. We are part of the Boy Scout member member team. Uh, we checked uh, with like almost a uh, thousand kids. Uh, we've been in a large study and we gave it some educational uh, books, normal 
uh, school books and also we gave it our books and trying to test the same aspects that they have and according to questions uh, they test the they grades were 54 percent bigger than the, than the other ones yeah that's how we test it okay um, is there any way that this can work with existing books in other words you can write your of so course, of course. Uh, they can work with normal books, they can also work with photographs. What we're we doing here is just creating our own collection, our own collection. So if you try to focus on a, on a book that we haven't developed, it won't appear anything, but we can adapt our technology to those new books. That's it. So, it's recognizing the image. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's no, there's no magnet or I can even print the the books in another in another normal paper. Of course, I have you have to have the, the original printing uh, printed material because if you copy that, it, there's some certain pattern pattern patterns that if, if you copy that you will not get it. So it's not more. It's not like the material. It's more like the image that is in it. Yeah. I mean, it just. Um, so, you had the video of the kid that had the book on his lap, and, yeah. the, the, and even us were having to kind of find the optimal distance for the, for the device to work. I mean, it just seems awkward. So, talk to us about how, like, the child's experience in, in, in reading the book or, or using the book and the app together. Well, how, how does that work? I, okay, we're going to be honest. Um, the book is not meant to be just like you learning in just uh, two seconds, but after a minute of, of testing it, the children usually use it. Uh, there's some games inside those books where you can test it. It's kind of an odd angle that you have to take, but uh, on the new version, for example, that one, uh, you can also you can check it without any problem if you are close or far. Uh, of course, if you are far enough, you see more. If you are close, you see less parts of the of the product. But there's no, it, there's no so complicated. We've tested a lot with children, and we haven't had any kind of a usage problem. So I think we are fine. I was just curious, since it looks like you're creating new content mm -hmm. every three weeks, I think that's what you said. We hope to. Yeah. Um, have you considered converting any classics to this format? Yeah, uh, that's for our future plan, indeed. Uh, it would help to uh, kind of be kind of a, a, a much reality publisher uh, that we someone and some new author wants to uh, make their book with much reality. We can also inc uh, include that that service in, all, in the printing process. Mm -hmm. Where is uh, all the data located that you're actually feeding to this, and what types of um, Re requirements are there as far as data transfer and all of that? Okay, uh, uh, because most of the uh, 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 tablets don't always have Wi-Fi connection, they are installed in store inside uh, the, the device. Uh, we've developed it now. Uh, our code is really is really clean. So, for example, that book only weighs 35 megabytes of, of storage, and you need and you don't need any kind of an internet connection or anything like that. And because it's an app, you can distribute it uh, uh, without any, without carrying it for storage on the App Store or Google Play. Yeah. Um, so what a couple of questions uh, from the audience here. Okay. Uh, doesn't this make children read even less? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, well, we have a problem that children have stopped reading because. Uh, they're kind of just, for example, just plain and uh, Angry Birds, and you don't have to read a lot. Uh, now, not also nowadays, uh, applications are so intuitive. So, for example, children can use a Korean app without any problem. So, by reading, uh, we're kind of given a, a a reason for read because uh, in order to kind of understand what's going on, you also have to read. You have to complete the what's what you're hearing with what you're reading. Uh, it kind of it kind of wakes the that venture inside every kid. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, okay. What about intellectual property? Is there any intellectual property that you file for? Okay. Because it's a code, we cannot uh, can he have any kind of patent for our code. 
uh, what we have done is kind of keep our for our office a secret yeah. about our content. Uh, it's a real is already it's already uh, under a copy our copyright uh, agreement. Uh, we also have the ISBN, which is the international barcodes for for books. So kind of our 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 names and our names and also our content is protected. Let's go back. What, 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 how much were you looking for an investment? It, it oh, well, let me let me put it over here. Oh, please. Okay. Please. Oh, we need it for for some developer licenses. Uh, we use, for example, Unity as a, as an as an uh, as, a, as an engine. Uh, for also, and we also need uh, an, an iPad, iTunes, or uh, license to, to distribute it. Uh, some illustrator designers, uh, an extra programmer. We want to do is a bigger collection. We could cover our every skill, um, and also a small, uh, kind of a small advertising campaign, and the rest is for printing the books. And when would you expect to turn a profit? Uh, sorry. When would you expect to turn a profit? <laughs> At the first quarter. First quarter. Yeah. Very modest. Very modest goals. Um, uh, okay. It says here, IKEA company for furniture was doing something along this line a while ago. They used augmented reality to show their stuff to clients by something like barcode. Mm -hmm. Did you? Yeah, I've, we have seen that. Yeah, there are kind of a, a, a small, a small uh, banner, a small banner or something that you have a small QR code in the center, uh, which you can scan it. You put it on the floor, and there comes a, a, a furniture or a TV or whatever you want. That. Yeah. Uh, we we are more we are our, our company goes more to the education. We're using this technology as a mean, not as an end, to like and help children. So we don't want to just show the new technological product the product just kind of a help We're using that for helping children. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.